Welcome back. Uh, problem number 2638, count the number of k free subset. So you are given an array, an, an, uh, an integer array called nums, which contains distinct elements and an integer called k. A subset is called a k free subset if it contains no two elements with an absolute difference equal to k. Notice that the empty set is k free subset. We should return the number of k free subset of nums. Okay, so let's first try and understand the problem because, in my opinion, they didn't make the best efforts into describing the problem. So, first, in the problem description, you are given an array called nums and you are given an integer called k. Um, and a subset of an array uh, nums is called a k-free subset if it contains no two elements whose absolute difference is exactly k. So the task is to count the number of possible k-free subset of nums. Okay, first let's see what is a subset. Let me do this. So, um, a subset is a selection of elements from the array. It can include any number of elements from zero to all elements in the array. So, if we take an example, an array nums, um, which is one, two, three, um, the subset could be an empty array. It could be an array with one element. Could array be with two elements? And so on. So let's just put all the examples of the possible subsets. These are the all the possible subsets of this array. So what is a key-free subset? A subset is a key-free if no two elements in the subset have an absolute difference of k. So for example, if k equals one. So uh, that if k equals one the k-free subset will change. Right now, this is all the subset. The k-free subset, this is the k-free subset. I don't know if you noticed that 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 are not in, in the, um, are not k-free because the absolute difference between 1 and 2 and uh, 2 and 3 is equal to k, which is 1. So this, our goal is, and if you can see this from the example, because uh, we can add uh, all the subset, we, have, we can add empty, we can add five, four, six, and we can add six and f four and six. We, can, we cannot add five and six because the absolute difference is one. We cannot add four and five because the absolute difference again is one. So that being said, we need to find a solution for that. In order to find a solution for that, um, we have to do some, I guess we do four steps. The first thing is that we should sort the array to, to try to compare it even easier for us. And after that, we should like create some sort of maps, like we should use maps to create groups where each element has a difference of k from another element in the group. And after that, we could just dynamic programming to calculate the subset, and after that, we end the result. How we will do that? Let's first starting by creating uh, some variables. I guess we need to create a map. New map. And after that, we let's create a max chain variable. And after that, After that, we will sort the array. The step one is to sort the array. So nums dot sort. A B copic function A minus B. Okay, so after sorting the array, um, let's start at the, f the second step which is to um, to to create the groups where each element has a difference of k. So let's see how we'll do that. So I will create a for loop. So before we do that, we could create a for loop 
and in the for loop we say let i equals zero i less than nums the length and i plus plus okay and i would say let num equals nums of i and let previous equals num minus k and let value equals one one here and i would say um if the map if map dot has the previous if that was the case first we update the value it will be plus equal uh, map dot get previous and we should delete the previous because we're giving it a new value and after that we should map dot set um num to be value and after that the max chain will equals math dot max uh, max chain and the value okay uh let's try to scop discuss the, the the code so first we loop through the sorted array uh, the loop iterates through the each elements in the array in the sorted array nums after that we create we uh, we have a current element and previous element uh, the current element num nums of i is a current element in the array and the previous element is the element that k is uh, uh, that is uh, k units less than the current element so this this was the previous uh, after that we initialize the values one the values represents uh, represent the length of the chain ending at the current element num it is initialized to one because a single element is changed is a chain of length of one only that we have this if statement so we're saying that if the if prev if the previous the element k units less than the current element exists in the map we should add the length of the chain ending at uh, at the previous to uh, value and after that we should delete it like we add the length uh, of the chain ending at previous to value and after that we should remove the previous from the map because it's now part of a longer chain ending at num after that we set uh, we update with a current element which is map set num to value we update the map to store the length of the chain ending at the current element and after that we uh, track the maximum chain length and the purpose of this one if this step is to grouping the elements this code uh, this block code uh, forms chains of elements where the difference between uh, consecutive elements in the chain is k we need to uh, tracking chain length so uh, it keeps track of the length of these chains uh, using a map uh, we should finding a maximum chain length so it look it also keeps track of longest chain found and yeah um, um, we can give an example for this one so to make this um, this could block quite easier so let's say that we have this nums and we have this k We have nums two, three, five, and eight. It's sorted, and k equals to one. So let's take uh, the num will equals two because we're starting from two, and the previous uh, the previous will be one because it's less. And the previous is not in the map, and value we're starting at one, and map it will equals. Uh, 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 some two equals one because we assign the number to the value and of the max chain 
will equal 1 as well. So let's try now go to 3. So if num equals 3, the previous will equal, as you can see here, the previous will equal nums minus k, and k equals uh, 1. So the previous will equal 2. And currently, um, previous equals 2, and value will equal 1 plus 1, which is 2 as well. And the map will change right now because we have actually uh, two, so we will delete the old one. And we add uh, uh, map, map, it will equals the empty, it will be three equals two, two. And the max chain will equals two. And we continue this with five, for example. So when we do it with five, or oh, we can, yeah, let's do it with five. So when num equals five, and the previous will equals four, and um, value will equals one, and the map, will change, will equals, uh, three will equals two, and five will equals one, because it's only one, and the max chain is still two, max chain will still two, and we have eight, it will be the same, and the max chain will still two. So this code forms a chain of elements where each element has a difference of k, from the previous element in the chain. It uses a map to store the length of these chains and it updates the map and the maximum chain length as, in, as it iterates through the sorted array. So this is the second step. Um, we have two more steps. The step that should follow that is um, to use a dynamic programming to compute subset counts for each group length. How we can do that? Let's create a dynamic uh, programming table. So db will equals array of max chin plus one, because it's all based one. And we need to make two possible things, db0 equals zero because, uh, equals one, because there is an only way to create um, uh, db of zero, and db of one equals two, I guess, yep. Uh-huh. So, and after that, we create a for loop. Um, let i equals two, i less than less than or equal the max chain, and i plus plus. And one make uh, in the inside the loop, we will say db of i is equal, it's a previous two, it will be db of i minus one plus db of i minus two. Okay, what is this code doing? So this code is a part of the solution to count the number of key free subsets. As we said before, after forming a groups of elements, which is in this, the first step, where each element has a difference of k, we, we use dynamic programming to compute the number of k-free subsets for each possible group length. So the, number of, uh, uh, the purpose of this code is to pre-compute the number of k-free subsets for each uh, possible length of a group of elements. We use dynamic programming array to store these values, which allows us to quickly compute the number of k-free subsets for each group. So let's try to uh, talk about this one. For first, we initialize 
uh, a DB array. So we create a DB array of size max uh, chain plus one because we need to store the number of subset for groups length from zero to max chain. We have some base cases, uh, DB of zero equals one because there is only one way to choose a subset of length zero, which is the empty subset only. Uh, and we have db of 1 equals 2. There are only two ways to choose subset of length 1, which is to use an empty subset and a subset with one element, which is x, for example. Um, uh, after that, we fill uh, the array. We have, we iterate, so this loop fills uh, the rest of the db array using uh, the previously computed values like for each i from 2 uh, to max chain, the number of k-free subset for groups of length i is uh, the sum of the numbers of subset of four groups length of i minus 1 and i, uh, and I minus 2. The reason for this uh, recurrence relation is that for any subset of the length i, we can either exclude the last element and have any valid subset of length i minus 1, or include the last element, but then exclude the element k units array, resulting in any valid subset of length i minus 2. So um, I could do a quick example for that, but I guess it will be quite really long because we have two more, we have, I guess, one last step. And the one last step, it will be. It will be pretty easy, in my opinion, because it's only three lines. So I will say let let value equals one, and I will make a for loop here. Let size of map dot values. Okay, we're looping through the map. And I would say the value will be multi will equals whatever is multiplied by the dB of size, and we should return value. Okay, let's discuss what's happening here. So, the purpose of this code is to calculate the total number of K-free subset of mul by multiplying the number of subset for each group length as stored in the map using the pre-computed values from the dynamic programming db array. So first, let's try to, we're creating a value here, like we initialize a value to one. This variable uh, will store the product of number of, uh, of subset for each group length, okay? After that, we have a for loop. We iterate over values, uh, we iterate over, uh, over values uh, of the map which represent the length of the chain groups from uh, formed real we multiply we multiply the number of subset for each group size like for each group size we multiply values by the db size the db size give us the number of key free subset for a group of length size as pre-computed using programming uh, dynamic programming by multiplying these values we account for the number of k of uh, k free subset for each group and combine them to get the total number of k free subset and after that we return the value and that's it let's just try to submit and see if the code will work or not the code doesn't work at all uh, because the max uh, max chin no max no no It did work. It did work. Okay, that's great. So um, I would say this problem is not is not medium. It's really hard, and it needs um, time to understand. So that's it for this video. And if you think my description was not that good, feel free to give me a comment and tell me exactly what you didn't like about. Uh, for the meanwhile, um, I would say um, see you in future problems. <laughs>